It's the most common irregular heartbeat, and sometimes it only shows up during physical activity. Here to tell us about the risk factors of atrial fibrillation is Dr. Louis Cuchinal of St. Joe's Medical Center. Uh, now, thank you for being here, and thank you for having the same wardrobe guy as, <laughs> as I did this morning as well. But first off, let's talk about AFib and what it is and some of the risk factors. Okay. Well, atrial fibrillation is one of the most common abnormal heart rhythms. And that's that what we know about it the most is, is, is the name we hear tossed around as AFib, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, for short, we call it atrial fibrillation, and it's the most common abnormal heart rhythm that patients uh, experience. It affects around 3 million people mm -hmm. and about 10% of patients over the age of uh, over the age of 65 have atrial fibrillation. So uh, with atrial fibrillation uh, it inc increases your risk of stroke by about fivefold. So it's really important that patients know what the signs and symptoms of atrial fibrillation are so that they can talk to their physician and get tested. And so typical testing for AFib is as simple as just listening to the heart mm -hmm. or having an EKG or going home with a heart monitor that can actually detect this heart rhythm uh, any time during the day. And we had talked about some of those symptoms earlier, kind of a fluttering or a, a rapid beating of the heart. Can you That's talk right. about a little bit of those symptoms? Yeah, so the most common symptoms is palpitations or kind of irregular heartbeats. Uh, it can also cause fatigue, shortness mm -hmm. of breath, lightheadedness. Sometimes people will pass out with it. But a lot of times patients have no symptoms at all. Really? And if they don't have symptoms, those are the patients that are uh, most at risk for having a stroke or developing a weakened heart muscle uh, which we call congestive heart failure. So you were telling us a little bit before the show about about AFib and how it's just is it just one chamber of the heart that beats faster than the others? That's correct. So, so how do, so sorry so how do you tell that if you're just sitting in your chair at home you would think does it feel like a normal heartbeat that's just faster or is it easy to tell that just one part of your heart is beating faster? Well. Uh, you can't tell that one part is beating faster than the other, but you can notice that maybe your yeah. heart's racing. You know, a normal heart is usually beating at around 60 to 80 beats per yeah. minute, but when you're in atrial fibrillation, your heart can be racing up to 120 to 150 beats per minute. So if you notice that your heart is racing, it's feeling irregular, that may be a warning sign that yeah. you're in AFib. So if we maybe are sitting at home and we think that we have had these or someone we know has had these symptoms, how do we come make an appointment to see you? So you can uh, look me up on the internet. Mm -hmm. You can go to the St. Joe website. Um, you can also go to the Heliant Physicians Group website okay. and uh, look us up there and make an appointment. Okay, now you are an electrophysiologist. That's which correct. That is, is that a subset of a cardiologist or how, that's, how, what is that exactly? That's correct. So whenever a patient sees me, uh, they've usually seen a regular cardiologist uh, or an interventional cardiologist. An interventional cardiologist is a cardiologist that goes in and opens the arteries uh, to restore blood flow. So mm -hmm. I describe them as the plumbers. I'm the <laughs> electrician. So I go into the heart, I take care of electrical issues, wow. I put in pacemakers, defibrillators. So, you know, we're both cardiologists, we're just in different unions. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Well, neat. So, so the other ones are the ones that would put the, the stents in or the balloons to open them. Correct. And you're the one dealing with the electricity that kind of powers and, and controls the heart. That's thing. right. Fascinating. That's right. Isn't that neat? All right, well, Russ, where, do you, where do you perform all of your procedures at? So I perform my procedures at St. Joseph Medical Center. We have okay. a brand new lab there, and uh, uh, that's, that's where I do primarily most of my work. All right, well, Doc, thank you for your time this morning. It's been fantastic and really interesting. I mean, I think it's a scary uh, a condition. It's in symptoms to have, but to know that we got folks like you that we can turn to to get answers for questions we might have is a, is a really comforting, at least for me. Yeah, so no, thank no you problem. for being here this morning. There are uh, ICD and uh, atrial fibrillation support groups to help, plus St. Joseph Medical Center and Heliant will be involved in an AFib trial utilizing the Apple iWatch to manage atrial fibrillation. To get involved, go to stjosephkc.com or call 816-943-7600.